The Redmond School District was approved for a large bond last year to renovate all 13 schools in the district. Bola Badabo went to find out what those changes are. Bola? Right now, Lee, the district has made some headway with small and immediate projects, and it's still on track with its timeline. The Redwind School District is busy making renovations made possible by a $27 million bond voters approved last year. As of now, Superintendent Sharan Klein says the district is still very much in the planning phase, but they've accomplished smaller projects. For safety concerns, we had several different intercom systems needed to get replaced. We added uh, bottle filling stations in all the different schools, and this was really a response to COVID uh, because uh, kids were carrying around the water bottle who weren't really, really using drinking fountains. As far as the bigger projects are concerned, Klein says they take more organizational and financial planning. Uh, they've created what's called schematic plans at this point. Uh, and now they're working through the estimation phase. The three large projects include an office remodel at Obsidian Middle School to create a more secure entryway for students. Klein addresses the other two. We have an addition at Vern Patrick Elementary School. We have addition between Tom McCall Elementary and Elton Gregory Middle School. Klein adds there are other projects under bid. New Hartman Elementary School, we're changing the heating and ventilation system. The siding over at Lynch Elementary School is also under bid. Klein also says a lot of the major construction will happen up through next summer. Most of the projects are expected to be complete by the beginning of the 2023 school year. In light of the staffing shortages and the fluctuating nature of these budgets, Klein says the timeline shouldn't be affected. However, he expects prices to be. It'll drive the price up. You know, materials are more expensive, the labor is more expensive. Klein adds that the renovations are important to honor the community's investment because the school buildings need a lot of maintenance and care. The bond did not require an increase for taxpayers due to refinancing previous bonds and an expected growth in future tax revenue. Lee, back to you.